An integrated approach to grass weed management is helping southern New South Wales farmer Robert Woodhead tackle the growing challenge of herbicide resistance. Mr Woodhead is well aware of the dividends that thorough monitoring and timely, effective treatments can deliver to a business's productivity. He uses a multifaceted approach in keeping with the recommendations of the Weed Smart initiative. Weed Smart is supported by the Grains Research and Development Corporation and encourages growers to rotate crops and chemical modes of action, prevent weed set, test for resistance and monitor every spray event. It's very important to control grasses. In the end, they, if they let go, they will smother the crop, use up nutrients, use up moisture and be less profitable at the end of the day. Our approach is, uh, from the start, monitoring the weeds uh, in the paddock, but also after we have sprayed them um, to see what is dying and what's not. Mr Woodhead operates a 1,350 hectare mixed cropping and grazing property in the Gaylong district near Harden. Half of the property is established pasture and is currently running 3,500 joined ewes, while the other portion is cropped on an eight-year canola wheat canola wheat rotation, after which the paddocks are then returned to pasture for the following eight years. The cropping pasture mix enables the woodheads to use a variety of chemical groups to rotate them regularly and incorporate grazing practices into the management plan as a double knock strategy. Yes, non-chemical options are available to me. Uh, I use a number of them. I use this skid steer loader with flower mower on the front to do my fence lines is one option. Two, second option is delayed sowing on, uh, on worse paddocks. Three is double knock strategies. Sheep are an important part of our program. Uh, in spring, if, they, if you can target a paddock hard with sheep, you will, they will eat the ryegrass down. A key part of the Woodhead's management of the loosen-based pasture paddocks is to conduct a winter clean with herbicides prior to spring grazing. Key coming out of pasture is spraying it in the spring to fallow it then, to stop the seed set. Uh, you can't do it in autumn you've already let the seed build up and you'll end up with a disaster in following years. Two years is better than one, um, a winter clean in Lucent, followed by that spring, part, spring spray out the following year is always better, especially on paddocks I know that are, are, are worse than others. 